exciting new karting products in 2020. Welcome back to the Power Public YouTube channel. In 2020, we've been bringing you some great new karting products. And today, we've got the Dynamic Kart Steering. So what is Dynamic Kart Steering, I hear you ask? Well, it is an attachment that we're gonna put on the kart so that when you pull on the steering wheel, the toe will change, whether you want more toe in or more toe out. So dynamically, meaning the driver is on the circuit, you can actively change the steering while you're driving around the track. Now, some of the benefits of being able to do that is for testing, say you could, you know, you're at a new track and you, you're not sure if toe in or toe out is the, your preferential setup. So you can, the driver can actually change it as he's driving around the track. Okay, so that's one. The other thing too is you're gonna get improved tire wear and tire life because you're not gonna get the degradation from running excessive toe out down the straight. You can pretty much run your toe neutral as you're going down the straight or a little bit of toe in for top speed. Now also too, if you want to turn more in very slow corners, you might wanna go mega aggressive in your toe out so you can get excessive turn in on those uh, slow hairpin corners. And also too, by being able to adjust the toe on the fly, uh, you can sort of stabilize those tire temperatures in the front to stop chewing out the inside edge of your front tires. Now we've all seen that and it sucks because we all know as racers, understeer, well excessive understeer really costs you in your lap times. And especially in those big events, towards the end when everybody's tires are starting to degrade, yours are still top shelf, you're gonna go out there in the final and just smoke them. Okay, so now we've run you through some of the benefits of this new uh, engineering piece of equipment. We're gonna show you how to fit it up to a Tony car. So before we can install the new components, we need to remove some parts from the cart. Steering wheel, steering wheel boss, steering column support and hardware, and the tire rods. So as you can see, we've pulled apart a fair amount of the front of the go-kart. We've got the floor tray out, so we've got access to the circlip that holds the bearing in at the bottom of the steering shaft. Obviously, we've removed the steering shaft and the steering shaft upper support. So now we're ready to install the dynamic kart steering. So as you can see, the kit comes supplied with both the Tony kart sized bearing and also to the non-Tony kart sized bearing, which would be your eight millimeter shaft Nut. So the first step is to reinstall the steering shaft bearing. So do that, slide it into its little house and then reinstall the circlip under the bottom. Now this special retaining nut goes onto the end of the steering shaft. And as you can see, it's got this straight diameter here and that's gonna slide up inside the bottom steering column bearing here on the chassis. And then what that does is it makes the steering column be able to move in the go-kart. Now we're ready to install our upper steering column bush. Now we don't want to force this on because sometimes the chrome has a little lip on the end of the steering column. And if you just jam it down here in our hardened steel bush, uh, it's gonna make a big mess. So we just want to linish this back with a grinder so that it's a nice smooth fit over the shaft. So with the steering shaft prepared, we can now slide the steering shaft bush on and just give that a little bit of a wiggle left and right, but don't force it on. It should just slide on nicely. Reinstall the, the bolts, the washer, the nut, and do it all up.
So when installing your unit, pay attention that the black shoulder is to the top and the dynamic cart steering boss you can see as the driver. Now we're going to do up the grub screws on the dynamic steering boss. So what we're going to do is push the steering shaft all the way into its down position and we're going to do up the three grub screws. So I'm going to nip this one up lightly then this one and then that one last. So now that we've done the top grub screws up we can do up the bottom grub screws just nip, nip one up this side one up the other side and just go back and double check them all. So now you can reinstall your steering wheel So you can loosen off this nut here and then for sensitivity you can either tighten the spring or loosen it off and what that does is there's a spring here with an indent ball bearing and that's what sort of locates the, the, the steering shaft bush in this steering shaft housing. So next up we're going to install the tie rods back onto the stub axles and in the kit it comes with some extra hardware. Uh, being a long M8 cap screw countersunk and also to some washers. Okay, so we're going to put the small washer on first, install the bolt through the tie rod, and we're going to put the two big ones on underneath. Now, as you add more spaces here underneath the tie rod, that's going to lift the tie rod up like this off the stub axle and effectively give you more toe in or toe out variation when you pull on the steering wheel. So now that we've installed all the hardware on the car, we're going to remove the wheels, put on a set of snipers and show you guys when you move the wheel, how much it affects the toe in and toe out. Okay, so with the steering wheel in the down position, you can see the, where the snipers are. So you're gonna start with the steering in the bottom position and set your toe to how you want it with a little bit of toe out, say for your hairpin corners. And then as, as you're going down the straight, simply pull on the steering wheel. And you can see that we've moved the laser from the dot back to the line. Obviously you can add more spaces to the bottom of the rose joint and that will make the toe variation even greater again. So there you have it, the fantastic new product from Dynamic Cart Steering. Now this one is going to be available online and you can check them out at Dynamic Cart Steering. Otherwise hit up the SG Carts website in Sydney. We're going to have all those links in the description below and if you want to follow us on Instagram or Facebook, you can check us out at Power Republic. You can go to our amazing website, www.powerpublic.com.au. Grab yourself a t-shirt or some dynamic car racing steering products. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.